Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Alex, and today we are doing a bucket server plugin lookover. Now, sorry about the voice quality in this video, it's not going to be uh, as good as usual, although it's not very good uh, as usual, anyways. What? <laughs> but um, I am recording audio off my laptop because my mic is dead right now, but I really, really need to record this video. Now, um, something great just happened. Now, my friends are going to laugh at me and call me a nerd, but a brand new plugin came out, and it's called Per World Permissions. Now, or Per World Plugin. Per World Plugins. So what that does, basically, is it allows you to assign uh, specific plugins to a specific world. Okay, so uh, tons of uh, bucket uh you know, server makers, owners, whatever you want to call them, have been looking for a plugin like this for ages. Now I'm going to show you how to use it. Although, uh, I'm not really a pro at it, uh, considering I have never used it before, but it's simple enough. Uh, this will probably be the first record, or recording, um, tutorial on YouTube. So, uh, yeah. That's why I'm in such a rush to make it. I want to be special. Okay, so let's just go on to our preferred, uh, search engine. Uh, and then we are going to type in, um, per wor whoops, world, per, oh my god, go to buckets, sorry, buckets. Now go to, uh, get plugins right here. And now you're going to want to go down to admin tools. And then, uh, go to page two on the bottom. Now you're not, you're not going to need to do all this because I am going to provide you links in the description. So you don't really need to pay attention on this part. Um, okay, where is it? Where is it? Ah, Pro World Plugins, right here. Alright, so just, uh, the link in the description will bring you to this page. Right here. Uh, a pretty nice banner. Not bad. So, uh, as you can see, surrounding so for a certain world essentials, for a certain world core protect, blah, 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 blah. Um, all the, it, it has multi-plugin support. Obviously, multi world support. Uh, but all you're going to do now is hit download right here. I spoke with a British accent for the fun of it. Um, okay, so uh, really, here's a channel log, change log, sorry. Add a fake plugin manager, blah 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 blah, config generator, um, world edit, reload stroke, that's no problem. Uh, it's a brand new plugin, as you can see down here. Uh, it's alpha, um, uploaded one day ago. So, yeah, very, very new. Uh, so it's gonna, it's gonna be a bit buggy, but seriously, this is a plugin everyone needs right now. So just hit download, and then this is gonna come up if you're on Firefox, hit save. If you're on Explorer, which it shouldn't be, uh, hit save. If you're on Chrome, it will just pop up in the little bottom part. Alright, so now, uh, it should appear in your downloads. Now, all you're gonna wanna do, is um take your downloads. We'll open up your server folder first of all. Oh man, this clean teacher thing is really annoying. Open up your server folder, go to your server, uh then go to your plugins, and then you know let me just oh uh, do I have it in there? Yeah I do all you're gonna wanna do is open downloads and drag in. I already have the plugin in there though. Alright, so close your browser for now, um and start up your server and it will give you a config or a folder so open that folder up and I see there's only one file it's a very lightweight plugin obviously uh, just a config file which is great um, okay so uh, these are the plugins that it supports right now uh, unfortunately it doesn't support every plugin but uh, it supports pretty much all of them um, so here we go color MOTD so, uh, well here, I'll show you the example. So, um, world edit. Uh, so this will apply for world, world, and world, world, nether. Um, so that's simple enough. So, uh, let's say you have a world named Billy Bob Joe, okay? Just, let's say. Now, um, what you're gonna want to do is, of course, like, let's say you want, you only, well for me, uh, for instance, I have a tiny plugin, um, and I only want, uh, users to be able to, to use um I think that's sorry. You know, I'm not uh, as I said before, I'm not really used to this plugin, so uh oops. Oh my I think that's it. Oh good lord. Oh I'm doing 
Sorry about that. <laughs> So up, I think this should want it should have to line up. Okay. Oh my god. Should only be four. That would make sense. Whatever. Let's try it. Um, sorry for the you know noobish ways, but now I just want to dash then the world. Uh, so for me, my world is X towns. I don't know if this is sensitive. Uh. I don't know. So, yeah, if that works the way it should, let's just go save. And then we can open, well, let's drop the server to start with. I already have it running. Okay, and now we're just going to want to, uh, we're going to want to go back to, um, oh shoot, our, yeah. Oh, my god, let's move my sense. Let's go back to Minecraft or server. Now, click start server. And, um, let it load. I have a lot of plugins right now, so. Oh! Oh, I'm. Wait, no. No, no, no. Never mind. I thought I realized something extraordinary, but I didn't. So, uh, again, waiting for this to load. Alright, all done. So let's open up our Minecraft, minimize all that crap. I'm going to try to make it as high definition as I can for you guys with Camtasia. Nice little multiplayer, join a server. Uh, Alright, so let's go slash, no, let's go slash, slash help, slash help, um, let's go. Per world plugins. Do they even have the game commit plugins? Yeah, they don't. Like I said, it's a new plugin, but uh, let's see if I can go slash town new bug. Yeah, uh, as so you can see, I tried a town command error. This, com this command cannot be performed in this world. Awesome, it worked. But now if I go slash work x counts which is my town squirrel, and I just fly out into the area in which I want them to be able to create towns. I can go slash town new, let's name it Tess. Ah, Outplay1 created a new town called Tess. Simple as that, guys. I'm not even joking, it's that easy. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this plugin tutorial. Uh, that's really all there is to it, so now you can just go into the config and mess around. Um, like I said before, if you if you plan on running a good server, this plugin is definitely essential. Uh, I strongly recommend getting it. Um, not only because it is like an amazing plugin, it's also very lightweight, so uh, it should meet all your uh, specific needs. Um, but yeah, that's really it for this video, guys. Uh, remember to comment, like, subscribe, and tune in for the next one. See everybody.